Hello everyone, I'm Pinka Juniati from Kimia B 2021, University of Jakarta. I want to tell you all about my summary text from two videos that we have seen last week. That videos contains the things we need every day. We all know that we are very close to chemistry and chemistry needs to be developed again. We started the day with chemistry. Breathing is also a part of chemical reactions. We can also find chemicals in everyday life in the food we eat, the air we breathe, the ingredients in the perfume we use, our emotions, and many other things. There are many examples of the role chemistry plays in our lives. Chemicals are used in the processing of food, clothing, medicine, and others. Chemistry can also be found within us. And that's why we need to know that all human activity is related to chemistry. For example, when we breathe. The oxygen we breathe enters through the nose and the diffusion process occurs in the alveoli. After that, our lungs release oxygen and spread it throughout the body through our bloodstream. Then, our lungs also take carbon dioxide from our blood and release it into the air when we exhale, or what is known as external respiration. And that's where the chemical reaction takes place. In another example, we need chemistry to make medicine. We must determine what ingredients and mixtures must be included to make the drug. Many other diseases such as cancer and uh, acquired immune deficiency syndrome or what we call as AIDS are caused by defect in one or more genes involved in the body's defenses. In order to perform multiple procedures for multiple treatments, a physician must have good knowledge of the chemical properties of the molecular components in food in order for the treatment to occur in the patient. We all know that chemistry is the study of matter and the change it undergoes. Chemistry is also considered a central science because several other subjects have an affinity with chemistry. Indeed, chemistry is central to our way of life. Without chemistry, we will live shorter life in what we consider to be primitive conditions. Without electricity, city, and many other everyday conveniences. So, in the end, we all know that chemistry is very influential in our lives. Chemistry is a science that plays an important role in our survival. We must contribute to the development of chemistry to our common survival. So uh, that's a little summary of the two videos that we have seen last week. I hope it's useful for you guys and see you in another video. Bye!